All right, let's talk about ACL tears and where they can occur on the ligament. So if I look at that anterior medial bundle, so the front inside of the knee where it attaches on the tibia, those tend to be smaller in size in terms of tearing. They tend to occur with a fully flexed knee or a flexed knee in general, so it's very common in jujitsu. Tends to be tight with flexion afterwards and loose with extension. That's what the patient will tend to complain about. The backside, that posterior lateral bundle, so the outside back of the knee, they tend to be larger in size and they occur with extended knee injuries. So tighten and extension and loose inflection after the injury. Those will be the chief complaints of the patient. Mechanism of injury, very interesting. There's a lot of non-contact knee valgus with hyperextension injuries. Anterior lateral blows causing a valgus force to the knee that you see here. And a lot of times direction of changes with a firmly planted foot can occur. Presentation wise, there's a lot of audible pops that can occur or a loud audible pop, feeling of instability, given way, significant swelling, and then a feeling of instability with restricted movement. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below.